What is up, you guys? This is Mini Superheroes Today. Hey, everybody. It is Brick Fair, Virginia, 2021, and it's Friday. Uh, I feel like I'm getting really good at these intro videos because I've done them so many times at this point. Uh, Jetty, get in here. We're getting ready to head over to the convention for today. Um, I'm not sure what today's going to hold. I think we're going to have more people there, of course, because they're just filling in as the week goes on. But um, there's no yard sales today, no minifig swaps today, so not a lot of buying in that sense, but more vendors are filling in, so who knows what we'll find. Of course, there's so many more amazing mocks to see, so come along and let's check it out. All right, so we're driving over to Brick Fair. We don't have too much on our agenda today compared to the past few days. Um, like today... Uh, we have Building Mecca, like a panel at 2, then there's the Charity Auction at 3, and then World of Lights is tonight, actually. So what World of Lights is, is they shut all the lights off in the convention center, and then uh, everybody can light up their mocks if they have lights in them, or spotlights to put on, or sometimes they like work lights into the build. So that'll be really cool, and of course, we'll cover it all. So uh, it's so fun to have you guys along for this journey. It's like... It's obviously fun to be here and see it all in person, but it's also fun to cover it knowing that we get to bring you guys along the way. So thanks for hanging out and being a part of the channel family. And uh, yeah, here we go. So last night uh, we came across this really awesome 2012 Toy Fair Captain America at the yard sale. Now, the Toy Fair Captain America is a figure that they only made 125 of. You could only get it at Toy Fair 2012, so it's a very, very rare figure. Uh, quite possibly the rarest of the LEGO Marvel figures. And uh, somebody had one here for a pretty good price, but still pretty expensive, you know, several hundred dollars. But um, I'm really thinking about buying it. I haven't been able to shut up about it since I saw it last it's night, true. so I think that means I have to get it. But, you know, it's a lot of money, and, you know, I just wanted to sleep on it. But I did sleep on it, and I still can't shut up about it, so I'm starting to think it's time. It's a sign. We'll find out today, though. Check it out, guys. Cloud City Boba Fett. You got the belt printing, arm printing, leg printing. One of the very first LEGO figures to have arm printing. Definitely the first LEGO Star Wars figure. Super rare from the Cloud City set from the early 2000s. And man, at 800 bucks, it's pretty cool with that custom packaging, too. But 800 bucks seems to be the going rate these days. So definitely not an unfair price. Check out some of this stuff, too. Darth Malgus, you got the Chrome Stormtrooper. I do need that Leia still, and then three figures from the new Bo-Katan set down below. Pretty good stuff. Appreciate it. All right, hey, I'm here with Sam's Figs, hanging out. He uh, called me over, and check out this Ant-Man he made. This is with a Nate's Minifigs helmet, but uh, the rest is custom painted, even down to the little dots on the hands there for the shrink and grow buttons. Of course, Ant-Man's my favorite superhero, so the little attention to detail like that is so up my alley. There's a little button on the belt, too, just a little bit bigger for his regulator. Looks absolutely amazing. Check out the painting on the back of the boots, too. Really fantastic work. How long did this take to make? I don't know. I was up all night before Brick Fair trying to get them done. Whoa, okay. Yeah. <laughs> four or five Everybody's hours. Everybody's getting in this video. It's a crossover video. Yeah, well, four, four or five, five hours. Something like that. Wow. Yeah. Honestly, brought, knowing it was done in that short a time makes it that much more impressive. Yeah, I also brought some more that I've done. These aren't superheroes. Cool. Like Show a, them a music artist. So here's a Kanye. One. Yep. And then here's a Da Baby. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah, that's amazing. Let's go. That ant man is just something else, man. I really appreciate that. It's amazing. Thank you. So, just some nicer stuff. I was thinking that maybe it would be good for you to sell on Bricklink. Like, it might be easier to sell this stuff than to wait for one big sale, but, um, you know, just curious. The Hulk sells well. I had a couple Hulks that I sold. That's the Jor El. That's Jor El, yep. Yeah. Polybag exclusive. That's the uh, Space Batman space from the Green Lantern. He's got both wings in there too, like the folded and open wings. I priced most of them like Bricklink prices right around for uh, the yard sale. I didn't price Gamora. I don't remember what these are. 
Uh, these there's, there's so many troopers that to keep the feet down. Yeah, these guys came in the like 2007 era battle pack. Uh, you got one per pack, and if I'm not mistaken, maybe you can chime in. I think that the version that has the pauldron was supposed to be Cody, and he came in the turbo tank. But those versions were just supposed to be like regular ones. So what do you interested? What do you want for the Jor-El? Uh, honestly, I was just you know thinking we'd use it as trade leverage. So whatever you think is fair. I, I don't know what it goes for. I mean, yeah, I, I honestly don't know either. I without looking it up, I guess somewhere in the fifteen to twenty range. But. I mean, I, I'd be wanted to give you like a hundred dollars trade value, but probably not more than that. So. Okay, for everything there. Um, no, I mean, I know the Hulk's the Hulk sells. I am interested in the Jor El, but I don't know what's worth. Sure. But probably more of the Star Wars stuff, just because okay. I'm familiar with that. Yeah, he's from uh, Battle Pack, probably around 2013, 14, something like that. It was like a large four like cannon thing. thing. Yeah. Is that 22? 22, yeah. Yep. So let's look, I'll look up the jor -El. Okay. So I'm a superheroes collector, that's my main thing. My name's Mini Superheroes today, so my big thing is superheroes, so, you know, this would be the uh, centerpiece of Brick Fair 21 to make it happen. This is always the fun part, you know, it's fun to buy Lego, it's fun to have great finds, but the best part is the story and the process along. Absolutely. 8, 16, 24, so that's 44, 54, 60, 70, Ninety-two. Are you taking Gamora? Sure. How about that? This and five hundred. Would you let me keep Gamora and five hundred? All right. You got yourself a deal. We did it. Here we go. <laughs> well, guys, we did it. I'm about to be the owner of a 2012 Toy Fair Captain America. The all-time number one uh, rarest Marvel figure, of course, with the Iron Man that would have been paired with it, they're equally rare, but it's only 125 of them out there in the world, and uh, one of them's about to come home with me. I'm, I'm not going to cry, but I am on the verge of some kind of Your emotional response. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's sorry. I'm trying not to no, no, you're here, <laughs> Joe, of course. Yeah, no, but uh, it's it's really cool, and thank you so much. Where can we find you on Brickling? It's your, um, my store is S... Iserman after the hockey player, but it's S Y Z E R M A N. So that's my story. It's closed at the moment because I'm out of town. But, sure, sure. But, uh, so and my most is just so. I did. How much did you end up buying it for? You have to watch the vlog to find out. <laughs> but that being said, if you want to buy one of the many figures that came from this transaction, they are now a piece of many superheroes today history. Now you know where you can get them. All right, we're walking to the door for better reception because we're paying with PayPal and you got to have good reception. This isn't an ad for PayPal or anything like that, but that's how it goes. And look at solid bricks of the Geonosis. Anyways. All right, so here we go. Sending now. See how it goes. There we go. Sent. There it is. All right. All right. Here comes the magic moment. Thank so you so much. Matt. Congratulations. You I are so one of the very it. few LEGO collectors that has one of one of the most rare uh, minifigs out there, and it's your superhero, which is your thing. Oh, I so appreciate it. Thank you so much, Matthew. Check it out. One of 125 ever made. And this is from Kevin Hinkle's collection, right? Yeah. That's cool. what I've heard. That's what you hear. I'm going to go with that. I believe it. <laughs> so really cool. Check out the shield, guys. It's actually like an old shield because the cap shield we know and love now hadn't been made yet. So it's a really unique print there and a uh, fantastic figure all around. And it comes in a cool case too. He'll probably never come out of the case. <laughs> Except when I pack it to bring it home with me. But yeah, this is the highlight of the show, guys. One of the rarest minifigs ever, let alone a Marvel figure, let alone Captain America. So thank you so much again. There you have it. Thank you. It's like every little detail is there try to pack in as much detail as I could while still making it be able to transform. 
All right, so after a cool day, I mean, the highlight of the day was definitely getting that Captain America for sure. I mean, that was just incredible. But uh, we're headed back over. We took a break for a couple hours, just kind of hung out, recharged the batteries, went to dinner. Anyways, we're headed back over to the convention now for something called World of Lights, where they turn all the lights off at the convention center, kind of like the lights are off in this car, <laughs> and uh, all the mocks will light up. So we'll show you what we're talking about. Let's get it. All right, so World of Lights, we're here. As you can see, it's lit here, but behind me, it is completely pitch black. So again, the idea is that people will light up their mocks, their custom builds. So, you know, maybe Main Street will be lit up or I see Darth Vader's castle lit up. I mean, <laughs> amazing. Let's see what we got. So we got the Partridge family bandmates here. Absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. Look at David Cassidy. I find uh, when I did the the two preview, I did a couple of previous models. Actually, let me let me grab the. Uh, here it is. Here comes the spare parts bin. Actually, this is the old version bin. Whoa! Holy crap! So this is this one. Uh, Whoa, and it says the, it on the side. Yeah, yeah, this one, the pattern is exactly perfect to what it was in the show. Wow. And including on the top and on the other side as well. But it, this one does not drive. <laughs> it was not very well constructed, to be honest with you, but the pattern is, is more precise. The newer version, the pattern is less precise, but it's more solidly built and it can drive. I, like, and I think the functionality really... Uh, yeah, I like both of them for different reasons. Mm -hmm. I like this one for accuracy reasons, of course, but the functionality of the other just can't. Be yeah, I, 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 I still like the uh, the different snot techniques yeah. for lighting up the black and the different colors. But uh, yeah, the, nothing beats just driving it down the side of the table. Yep. We had a dream. We go traveling together. So good, man. Hello world, it's a song that we're singing. Come on, get happy. We'll make you happy. <laughs> if that's not the outro, I don't know what you're doing. I'm telling you. Man. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> Ring that bell. Push subscribe. Well, you've made it to the end of the video. You should hit like and subscribe down below for more LEGO content from me because I post just about every single day. You'll be up to date on all the latest in LEGO, so why not join my community and hit subscribe now.